A day full of reflection and remembrance for local veterans. It is day two of the Southern Nevada Honor Flight as local veterans visited monuments and memorials. Anchor Abel Garcia is in Washington, D.C. tonight and shares their emotional experiences. Abel. Hundreds of thousands of people's names who died during the Vietnam War are engraved on this wall. But there's one person in particular, Michael K. Hastings, who has a special place inside one of our veterans' hearts. What's my brother? Uh, Mike Hastings. As his brother's name was being etched on this piece of paper, Larry Hastings remembered the day his brother was killed in the Vietnam War on March 1st of 1968. Hastings not only getting to experience honor flight, but also paying his respects to his brother. Brings back all the great times that I uh, had with him and makes me wonder what times I could have had with him afterwards. He placed this frame under his name. It has his picture and a poem Hastings wrote for his brother, a farewell to the man he called his best friend. But he says when he receives a thank you for your service, he knows it's also meant for him. <laughs> the next stop, a location where thousands of their military brothers and sisters lay to rest. The Arlington Cemetery, one of the most sacred grounds in our country. moment of reflection for Vietnam War veteran Thomas Waters, remembering those he lost and those soldiers who remain unknown. I have many friends here and some, some of the friends that, that passed away while I was here are buried at Arlington. Veterans say that the Marine Corps War Memorial is one of the most symbolic and best ways to demonstrate why they put their lives on the line. They say that seeing the unity from each and every Marine member who is up there as they raise that flag exemplifies exactly why they decided to serve for our country. Suffering that they went through, those Marines on that island and what they had to go through and how many people we've lost. The veterans also checking out the Air Force Memorial. The whole trip is an experience they say every American should go through. Brought out things that I tried to block. Uh, I got to see some friends names on the wall. Uh, it's just overwhelming. They'll understand that freedom is not free. Uh, it's paid for with a lot of blood from a lot of Americans. From the World War II Memorial to the Arlington Cemetery, for each veteran, it was an emotional experience as they reflect and remember their time of service. But they say coming here on this trip has made it all worthwhile. I'm Abel Garcia reporting from Washington, D.C. Abel, thank you so much. Well, putting their best dress foot forward.